The Medrash in this week's parasha, parasha the Metzorah, we learn something phenomenal from it that I'd like to share with my dear Chaveir. The Medrash says, There was a story about a peddler that went from village to village and city to city, announcing, Man boy Who wants the medicine of life? And Rabbi Yanni came to him and said, I want. He showed him the same for Tehillim. Who wants life? Watch over your lips. Watch over what you speak. Rabbi Yanni praised this person. Wow. The question is, what's, what's, what's so special? It's a Pasuk in Tehillim. Rabbi Yanni, I'm sure, knew the Pasuk. What was he so taken aback about what the peddler said? The Ishbitzer Meash Leich explains something powerful. This Reichel, he's called a Reichel because he was he he was he, he carried rechilas, gossip, from one person to the next, and that's what he did. He had a power in his of his mouth to gossip about everything and bring things from one village to the next, and that's what he did. And he learned from his failures, from his mistakes, and he transformed the power of his mouth to use it for good, to persuade people. To take the Samachayim, the Torah, the Shoyim Chameiros, for Sechem Midabe Mirma, watch over what you speak. And he, that's, how, that's what he used this Kayach Adibur for the power of his mouth, the power of his speech, to do, to persuade people to good. There was once a king, and one of his subjects was a very, very, very talented cartoonist. And he drew very per- persuasive cartoons against the king. People were, loved it. Because of what he drew, but the king they arrested him for treason. But instead of executing him or jailing him, the king said, I would like him to use his talent for the kingdom, not against. Transform it. Use his strengths for our benefit, for the good. A yid has to learn from this Reichel. That's where Rabbi praised him. Take the strengths that you have. And many times we find we are, we're drawn with our strengths towards areas that are not Taif, that aren't so good. Take those strengths, take those unique characteristics and unique special ability, abilities and powers that we have. Transform them for good. Use it for the Avoid for Hashem. Use it to help another yid. Use it to do good into, on this world. Because every person has koiches. And many times those koiches, they, 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 they draw us and pull us towards places which aren't so good necessarily. Take those koiches and, and serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu with them. And then those koiches become avoid as Hashem and they become dvarm shem That's something that we learn from this medish, this week's parasha. A great Shabbos to all of you.